Government intends to start contracting private companies or individuals to construct or maintain roads and later recoup their investment through leaving a fee on users of the road through road tolls. This is one of the proposed amendments to be included in the Road Amendment Bill 2017, which Cabinet has approved and is due to be tabled before Parliament. The private sector will operate that road and the toll that is paid will be used to pay back to the operator the finances that they have put in and at the same time to maintain that road. However, the Minister of Works, Monika Zuba, has revealed that government will be mandated by law to provide alternative roads in areas that have road tolls. There has to be another alternative road for people who may not be capable of paying the toll that will be specified along the toll road. In the 1990s, Uganda had road tolls at Lukaya along Kampala Masaka Highway and at Mbiko along Kampala Jinja Highway, among others. The bill, if passed into law, will also set stringent penalties for road offences. For example, those found overloading beyond 500 kilograms will be charged $90, about 320,000 shillings, and those that overload beyond 31 tons will be charged $148,000, approximately 541 million shillings. Asba says these figures were agreed upon by all East African countries. You are, before you, they would send you to court, but right now we have provided for express penalties so that the, the transporter does not have to go to court but will pay the express penalty. The new bill also gives the owner of a broken down vehicle six hours within which remove it from the road or else it will be towed away by police and a fine will be imposed. The bill also seeks to increase the size of road reserves from 15 to 40 meters. What we have been having is the road reserve of 15 meters from the center line of the road. But the act, the bill now is providing for up to 40 meters of road reserve from the center. 